Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for May 11th, 2017. It's about 11 minutes after the close. Uh, just to let you know, one of the benefits of us, of uh, the Simpler Stocks Gold, is I'm on the last hour, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then the third Friday of the month for a special three-hour trade that close. For days, I've been mentioning on the premium video about the put activity in Snap. Check this out. 15,000 today. This day, 10,000. And then look at the ones for next week. Look at the open interest. 18,000. 8,000. You, did you get some call buying today? Sure, you got some call buying of the 24 and a half. But overall, the put activity has dwarfed it. Check out what the stock's doing today. Down 20% overnight. That's what you pay me for. So, I mean, that's the idea in there is I tried to alert you to the option activity and at the minimum to avoid disaster, at the minimum to keep yourself out of trouble. So if you didn't take a shot, fine, but at least you didn't buy it. So definitely keep that in mind. Definitely, definitely keep that in mind. So that came out wonderfully today and I'm fired up that it did. So just to let you know today, ES is up 250, NASDAQ unchanged. Yeah, the EMD leading the pack up 960 today. Russell up 86, finally getting a little out of its doldrums. If you see this chart in here, I've been worried about the Russell. And if you look at a two-hour chart, I've been worried about this back test of the breakout. Really worried of whether it's going to hold. Well, so far, so good. Today, you had bonds down all of two ticks. Industrials down 32, led by... Uh, Boeing and United Tech, uh, some bad news about some engine problems. Yeah, gold up 290. Gold stocks yesterday, I posted about the gold stocks starting to turn the quarter. The idea in there is if the gold stocks turn, they lead the metal, gold will probably be up. And sure enough, it was. You had the uh, transports down 57, giving back everything it made yesterday. Yesterday, we had a massive rally of the airlines. Today, Unchanged in the airlines, go to the transports. Here we go again. The rails, the FedExes of the world just acting terrible. They've been acting terrible. They've been dragging down the, the index. I shudder to think if they ever got to the airlines like that, the major three of where the transport would be. As you see on here, transports are sort of in a holding zone in between this breakout possibility or this breakdown possibility. So definitely keep that in mind in here. So by the end of the day, advanced decline up about 899. Uh, yeah, gold stocks actually, look at the nugget. Up 166, the three times ETF, even with gold only up two. That's what I was posting last night. VIX up fractionally. Nikai up a little, the Chinese market getting hit again. So I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. Like I said, the big key I'm watching the next couple of days is going to be if the ES can hold this level on the right. Right there. If it could, it could break that and go all the way to 2420. So have a great night. Talk to you later.